Hey, Nick here for another incredible video about the upper control arm putting in the upper shaft kit. Now the factory replacement looks just like the original factory shafts. Get all this crap out of the way. Which are those and this. Sorry. There. Okay. These are made by Muscle Car Mike. He does a great job. These are really nice. And you've got that big fat O ring in there that you got to notch. If you don't notch that, you'll never grease it. Grease will never go in because it seals on this and creates an airtight seal. Nothing gets in. If there was a nuclear war, nothing would get in there. So whatever is in there would live and survive because nothing gets in there. <clears throat> so these are the original bushings. They have a Originally, they didn't have a Zerk fitting. These have a hole to put a Zerk fitting in. They don't come with the Zerk fitting, though. Talk to Mike about that. Um, so you need an angled one, you know, a 90 degree Zerk. I don't have those right now. So these are supposed to thread into the arm. Now, most people don't know this. You can see very clearly that there's threads in there. That's right. And I clean this one. You can see the threads in there. I clean this one with a wire brush. You know, you can see they've been stripped, that the bushing was put in wrong or who knows what happened to it. Uh, maybe this one too, who knows. But they should thread in like this. Take it here. And they should be able to thread in most of the way. See that? Now I can't get it in, I can't get it in all the way. I'm gonna have to use a this big gigantic thing to get it in there. What is that? One and seven sixteenths. Sorry. Uh, and then this side, this side doesn't do so well. I can't get it in by hand. Wants to go crooked, I think, right away. Hard to tell. Uh, anyway, they've got to be threaded in properly. If you don't thread them in properly, then this goes in crooked, you know? The threads are, help, are there to help to align it. Maybe there, maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at that, yeah. So I can look at this and I can see that the same amount is showing through on all sides. So that tells me it's going in 90%, 95% straight. Now you got to account for the threads and stuff, but, uh, and the same with this one. Come on, there we go. Come on, focus, butthead. See, you can look at it and see it's going in evenly, right? So another way to tell, let's take this one out, okay? Put the shaft in, right? Let's see how the shaft lines up relative to the other hole. That's pretty damn close, right? So that's good. So we know they're screwing in right. Sorry. Now let's do the other side. Okay. Unscrew that one. Now, one problem with this is that once the shaft is in there, you're gonna have a much harder time trying to get this bushing in. Now we only did it with it in a little bit. We didn't, 
Yeah, that's a, hmm. I don't know about that. Okay, with it in all the way, it may not line up right. Should, but may not. Yeah, look at this one. See? That's not right. Arm could be bent. That's a possibility. Okay. All right, so let's put some grease on it. White lithium, all right? Let's try that. So let's try screwing it in all the way. Yeah, that feels right. Now, see here, See how you can't see any threads of the bushing anymore? That's how it's supposed to be. Now I've taken these out and you can see three, three or two or three threads because they didn't screw it in enough. It has to be all the way in, all the way, just like that. Okay, so let's, uh, can you see that still? Yeah. Okay, let's put this in and now see where it ended up. Way off. Way off. Yeah, see, the problem is, is when you put this together, the bushings will be binding on the shaft, and the shaft will not be spinning freely. It'll be really super hard to turn the shaft. Look where this ended up. I think the arm is bent, to be honest with you. The other side was perfect, but I think this side is bent. And just how much and why, who knows? I don't see any damage to it otherwise, you know? I don't know why that's there. Maybe that's a molding. Yeah, see, this side doesn't have that. Let's look at the other one. Yeah, see this one doesn't have that line. See that line there? That's weird. It's bent. Yeah, there's a bump on the other side. All right, let's try this other arm. See what that does. So this is one of the ways you can find out if your arm is bent. Yeah, let's do it this way this time. I had it in there backwards kind of, so now we can see the bushing better. So here you can, you can barely see the threads. I can feel them, but you can barely, this one you can see them much better and they feel deeper on this side. Okay, so let's try to screw one of those in. Let's do the dry one. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at almost all the way, halfway. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay. Oh yeah, that one went, oh, way better. This one went almost all the way by hand, I did that by hand, you're my witnesses. Look at how far I got this one in by hand. See, that's much better. That tells me the threads are good, okay? So, uh, let, now let's try the uh, shaft test. See where it uh, ends up in the hole over on this side. Oh yeah, 
Now it's a little, up, but I can lift it up a little bit. See, so that just plays. So that's almost perfectly centered. That's good. So let's try the other side. Now we still haven't put it all together yet. It's okay, listen, it's tight, but it's okay to be tight, see? Now that's all the way in, right there is all the way in. Flush up against, I don't know if this is gonna go in now. Yeah, so I'm gonna back it off a little bit and then retighten it. Bad. <laughs> that arm, bad. <laughs> this one's good. Look at, look at that. Now this is one arm. I got to do the other arm. So we're going to back the shaft off. So now what you got to do, look at, you got to have the shaft in there. We got this one in all the way. You got to back the shaft off and then screw that in by hand. So it's not, not only is it screwing into here, but it's screwing onto the shaft now, okay? My dumb cat is out there. Come on, kitty. Psst, psst, psst. Come on, kitty. Come on, psst, psst. cutie. Here, go get food right there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, look at, look at that. Turns freely now. We don't have it in yet. Okay, I'm gonna tighten it. Hang on. Now this should be fairly, the shaft should be fairly free. off a little bit, get the shaft, unscrew it from the other one a little bit. Okay. The shaft should be fairly free, not binding, once these are both tight. Okay, that's tight. Meow. That's tight. Now, I didn't grease anything yet, but I'm not pulling too hard. It's a little, it's a little stiff, but it's not terrible. Remember the spring is on here. It, this is getting a lot of, it. it's getting a lot of tension with the spring on it. So this is not too bad. Uh, let me try tightening it up a little bit more and see what that does. Hi, kitty. Okay, I don't know if that makes it loose, more loose or more tight. Same. Now that's no grease, remember? There's no grease in here. Now, once this is, uh, okay, let's do this. Once it's on the car, so let's simulate it being on the car, right? It'll be bolted up inside the wheel well, right? Like that, see? So I've got it in the vise. So this is how it's gonna be in, oh yeah. Look at that, that's, look at, that's perfect, okay? So now you know what you have to do to get these things to sit right to, to properly install the upper shaft kit and the two bushings. Now we didn't address the, uh, we didn't address the, uh, the big fat O-ring. So what I do with these, let me get a new razor blade. What I do with these is I notch the inside. So I go in with a razor blade. 
I don't cut through the seal, but I notch it. I'm notching the inside of it because this is where it seals on the shaft. You can, <laughs> Sorry, you guys are not seeing what I'm doing, I don't think. I'm trying to pay attention to it and watch the camera at the same time. Hi, kitty. Okay, see? Let's take one of these off. Okay. Look at that, it comes off really nice. That's the way it should be. Okay, everything should go together fairly easy. Okay. Put this in here. Okay, we're gonna put this, the one that I cut, in the bushing, right? So what I'm doing is I'm putting it on, you know, the seal, it's so thick. I can't, I can't just push it on. I gotta, I gotta thread it on over the seal like that. Okay, so let me, uh, okay, got that? Table's gonna probably shake a little bit. I'm not putting any pressure. I'm hoping this thing threads in by itself. Yeah. You guys hurt yourself? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man, it's like a Three Stooges movie over here. Okay, so I'm threading it in. Uh, do this while you're doing it. See how easy it is? It's no, there's no pressure at all. This is this this is nothing. I can almost blow it, and I mean you know blow on it and. Uh, Okay, don't get excited. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now I'll put a zerk fitting in there. Try another one. Here, let's try this one. Maybe this one will work. That looks like a quarter inch. It's metric. <laughs> you. I got some words for you, buddy. Metric crap. Um, okay, let's try that. Okay. Oh, better. Okay, now it's uh, now it's locking up. Yeah. Ooh, I heard it. Oh yeah, it's coming out a little bit. Yeah, so, let me get the light. Um, where are we looking? Here. Uh, yeah, nothing came out. Let's notch the other one. Let's notch it bigger. Okay, here we go. Hey, look at that. Okay, so this time I'm gonna cut way down. Okay. Wow, look at that, see? That's pretty deep. That's gotta be at least halfway. Yeah, so, maybe cut more notches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just cut myself. Okay, do like I say, not like I do, okay?
Okay. I'm not bleeding. That's a pretty big one. Okay. Okay, look. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's going to let grease pass, man. Damn it, right? Dumb thing. Okay, we're going to take this off. Thread it off of the seal as well. It should make smaller seals, you know. Okay, let's get. Let's. Still doing it by hand. Are you still on? Yep, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, see? Now if it got really hard for any reason and I could hardly turn it, I would know that it's not going in straight and I'd back off and try it again until it worked. You can't force this stuff. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's called a turtle head. <laughs> oh, man. I crack myself up all the time. Okay. Put the Zerk fitting in. It's better work, damn it. Okay. Can you still see? Yep, everything's good. Put that all the way down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look. That's all I need to do. Yep, that worked. See it? Okay, so now you know notching the bushing will let it grease, right? It'll let the air out, let it grease up so that when you go to lube these, you can lube them. The grease will go in. Instead of having a airtight seal, okay, this is still nice and, uh, it's tight, but it's not super tight. It's nice, it's snug. Snug, ooh. Let me, uh, sorry, let me go back to uh, there. Snug is the right word. It's snug. And then when you put this together, you have to center these the best as possible. Now you can see, we could measure it almost uh, one, two, three, four, five, six tenths. No, that's not tenths, what is that? Oh, those are eighths. Mm, three quarters. Almost three quarters, right? Almost. This one's five eighths. It's about it's a, a little bit more than an eighth of an inch shorter, see? So you have to get this arm centered. You have to get it centered. So you've got choices. Let me put this back on here. Okay. So this side is shorter, so if we turn it that way, it'll push the shaft to the left, to the side which it is longer right now. So if we push it that way, it's pretty tight.
I'm still okay with it because of the way it went together. It went together right. So even though it's a little bit tight, I'm okay with it. So now this is the way it's gonna be on the arm. The bolts are gonna be through here. The bolts are gonna be through here. And this is exactly how it'll be sitting on the car with this shaft in roughly this position, very close. So what do we have now? Eleven sixteenths, maybe. This is about uh, nine sixteenths. So yeah, so now we're a little bit too short on that side. So this is a, this is a perfect medium. Uh, you know, a perfect uh, middle ground for this. Uh, sorry, it'll, because uh, no matter what you do, it's going to be longer or shorter on one side. So that's perfect right where it is. Okay. So you guys clear on that now, how to install these? Good. Thanks, man. Good luck.